to this, the next part in our series, the Stress Buster series, part six, uh, in this life renovation course, and uh, trust you're getting something out of it and learning to build and grow uh, in this area of stress and not allowing stress to be a controlling factor in life uh, any longer. Last uh, couple of sessions, we looked at understanding our responses that lead from pressure to stress, and so we looked at the, how we react to frustrations, and then we looked at the weariness of worry and how that can wear us down uh, over time. And in the last session, we looked at uh, some of what I call my trade secrets, uh, things I've been teaching leaders for many, many years about the four pressure valves. We looked at the physical valve and the psychological valve and the emotional valve and the spiritual valve and how they can really, really help us to set limits uh, and stop pressure from building up so much that it explodes at their valves where the pressure cooker of life uh, allows some release uh, before it turns into stress. Um, and, uh, uh, and you know, it's, it's one thing to set those sort of limits, but it's another thing altogether to learn how to identify and clarify attitudes of the heart. And uh, these things can make us prone to distress. And, uh, We've discovered that our attitudes bring out more distress than our actual workload, and and it can make us prone to distress building in our lives. Well, you know, in this session, we're going to look at five mindsets or attitudes that can cause pressure to become distress, because we really don't want that to be the outcome. Even though I gave you some tools on how to stop that, this will help in identifying. Uh, some of the uh, mindsets or attitudes that really, really uh, can take us out in life. So the first, uh, first attitude of, or mindset is being overly sensitive to criticism. The secret of becoming a whole person who lasts in life is learning to toughen our skin uh, without hardening our heart. Uh, it's important that we have the height of a rhinoceros and the heart of a child. Uh, in life, we will be criticized. Stuff will happen to us. Uh, but we have to learn to cope or we're going to live distressed. And uh, it would be my hope that you wouldn't live distressed. Uh, the second mindset or attitude is uh, being too focused on our weaknesses or our inadequacies. Uh, uh, we always have the benefit of focusing on our strengths and there's something uh, that that is really powerful about learning to focus on our strengths and not allowing um, ourselves to be sidetracked and doomed to the mediocrity that happens when we keep track of our weaknesses um, when we focus on our strengths we get far better outcomes in life but if we focus on our weaknesses on our inadequacies, then those things tend to cause distress in our lives. And uh, it obviously is our hope that that doesn't happen. Third thing, number three, uh, is taking too much pride in our achievements. Ever wonder why there's so many one-hit wonders in, in the music industry? Or why it's so difficult for sports teams to repeat a championship? Uh, it's because pride quenches both a desire to grow and a desire to learn, both essential ingredients for reaching new levels in life. So easy in life to lose track of that. And, uh, and uh, you know, too much uh, pride in our previous achievements. Some people will tell you of all the things they used to achieve or achieved once, but aren't achieving anything anymore. That's because they've lost touch with that side. And you know that can really be quite distressful because we're not growing, we're not going to new levels, uh, and and that will take its toll uh, eventually in our lives. Fourth thing uh, is allowing our ambition to overreach our abilities. Part of the maturing process is learning to assess our strengths and gifts honestly. Uh, Paul who was an extremely pressured individual. I mean, but he was a great adventurer and pioneer and uh, so, uh, you know, a philosopher. And, uh, you know, he really, he spoke what we would call the TED Talks of his day. He had great ideas that could mix it with, uh, with the highest level thinkers in the land. But 
he made this statement. He, he, he threw out this advice and he said, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment. I like that. It's, what great advice. Don't think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment. Uh, the truth is, ambition without an ability is wishful thinking, but ability without ambition is a wasted life. And I think that it's, un it's important that we learn to assess those things. Uh, you know, a great example of that would be a recreational athlete with an ambition to be an Olympic gold medalist will probably live with high levels of distress. Uh, and, you know, we don't want to be in that pocket. We want to make sure that we're honest with ourselves. We, uh, allow our, um, we don't allow our ambition to overreach our abilities. We find the balance between those two things so that we, we uh, you know, have that maturing process going on in our lives. Number five, fifth thing, is harboring jealousy over the achievements of others. Jealousy is a very, very destructive emotion. Uh, and jealousy tends to be based on faulty thinking. Jealousy says there's only so much success in this world to go around and they just got what should have been mine. Well, I don't believe that. Uh, I've learned over time that there's enough success out there for anyone who is willing to work their way out of self-inflicted distress. And so it's really important in life not to harbour jealousy. Well, I hope these uh, five uh, mindsets or attitudes that, co that we've identified that can cause pressure or become uh, stressful uh, and cause that distress, that really destructive side of stress, not eustress, which is, uh, you know, very uh, constructive. This is distress, which is destructive in our lives. Well, I hope these five things that we've talked about, these mindsets or attitudes about being overly sensitive to criticism, being too focused on our weaknesses or in inadequacies, um, taking too much pride in our achievements, allowing our ambition to overreach our abilities, uh, harboring jealousy over the achievement of others. Uh, you know, these things are all destructive forces, destructive attitudes, destructive mindsets that will take us out. Now, you're going to spend some time with a facilitator now, working these uh, through, creating conversation, being part of the narrative, and these, you know, helping identify these things and, and having a discussion about them will just help you work these uh, through so we can get that tension right. We're managing the tension stopping pressure from becoming stress and stopping stress from becoming distress in our lives. Enjoy your time with the facilitator. Enjoy the discussion. Be part of the narrative. Engage in conversation. Uh, enjoy yourself and I'll see you again next time uh, for the next part of this great series.